Hey everyone! In September 2016, I started a cleaning project. I cleaned every single room an inch of this house. It took almost a month to finish, but it was well worth it. I started off by taking everything out of every room that I was cleaning. What did I find easiest was to take everything off, leaving the large furniture. Don't bother, you can clean them inside. This is a great time to declutter also, to go through those clothes and those shoes to really assess what you have. So what I used was the Swiffer with this cover. It's actually a dusting cover for shoes that I found on eBay. It helps to clean the blinds, the top of the vents, the fire alarms, the top of the doors, which I couldn't reach. It really makes it easier. You can also try it on the doors, but you might want to rag. 50-50 solution of vinegar and water is what I used. It did not damage the walls or the paint at all. It didn't make them shiny. It worked great. Always do a test area, of course. It makes it so much easier to have the Swiffer so I can do the blinds, the top of the blinds. Even my kids helped out. They love to spray it, and of course the solution is safe for them to use. I used it on wood on these bookshelves, wiped it down with my towel, and the Swiffer, I like how I'm able to wipe the wall and it also allows me to go in between the bookshelves, making it so much easier. I don't know how else I could have done it. The baseboards also needed to be cleaned. I wiped them down. First you dust and then you can go through with a cleaner. In my case, I had already dusted and used Clorox wipes for the baseboards. Next was the doors. The doors needed to be cleaned. I found it easier with the towel rag that I had. And the slipper does make it easier to reach the top of the door, but the crevices of the door themselves, it's easier to use a rag for that. The blinds I learned to clean. You push them, first of all you dust them, and then you push them against the window, shift each blind up, and wipe them down from top to bottom. Do the same to both sides. Also, don't forget the windows. I didn't show video of that. The fan was pretty dusty, you can see. So I used the pillowcase over each blade and I used one of my towel rags and I wiped it down. Worked well. The windowsill also, same 50-50 solution. Wiped everything down. All of the furniture I wiped down the same way. The bed, the Ikea bed. Make sure to get all the cubbies in between. And once the entire room was clean, I vacuumed. That's the last step. And then I was ready to put everything back inside. This is a great time to declutter. I cannot stress that. I wish I had decluttered more. And I'm going to do another round and declutter. So my daughter's bedroom was next. Did the same thing. Took everything out of her room that I could. I was even able to get the bed out of her room. It's an Ikea bed, easy to take out. I made sure to wipe all of her furniture, all of her toys, sort through her things before putting them back into her room, the little play kitchen. I used the Swiffer a lot with these covers. This time I started off with the blinds, like I said, press them against the window, dust them first, and then use the solution to wipe each one by shifting all of the blinds up as you work your way from top to bottom. After that, you can clean the windows including the window sills. It all, it all needed to be cleaned. Then I used my handy Swiffer and that 50-50 solution and I did the walls, the top of the blinds, the casing, I wiped it down with a towel, and the doors, I wiped them down of course. Like I said, you can use the Swiffer to reach the high places that, rather than jumping trying to wipe them down. But the towel helps with the crevices of the door. The baseboards. I can also use that 50-50 solution for the baseboards after dusting. Always dust first, whatever you do. Otherwise, you're going to smear dust onto your baseboards. The fan was also dusty. I used the pillowcase. Make sure you clean even the light bulbs were cleaned. The last step is always to vacuum. For this room I actually washed the carpets as well. 
And once the room is finished, you can, of course, put everything back, making sure to please declutter and don't put everything, don't just put everything back, go through everything. This I didn't show, but this is Crayola Marks, and I used the Magic Eraser. It took it off pretty well. I don't have any pictures, but it's pretty much gone. So this is what the master bedroom looked like once I had cleaned and had decluttered. I took everything out and I separated. I know it looks like chaos, but I decluttered a lot and I separated a lot of items. Then I went into my master bathroom and I did the same thing. I took everything out of my master bathroom. I sorted through all the shower stuff, the kids' toys. I also did the light bulbs up. I always, always clean from top to bottom. I cleaned the shower, the windows, everything. Um, it was quite a process making sure to clean every inch. The bathroom I have to say was the easiest and the hardest thing was to clean each and every toy. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you like this video. I hope it inspires you to clean and organize. The one thing that I have to say is that if you decide to do this, declutter first and clean second and make sure that you don't put anything back that you don't need. Thanks. Please like and subscribe.